Hey everybody, call me Felix and on this Bohol food trip video, we're going to see if the best pizza in the Philippines is this Napolitan style pizza in Bohol, forged from a special oven using charcoal brought over from the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. But first things first, let's catch up on our last episode from our Bohol food trip. Last time out, we finally went island hopping and did some early morning dolphin watching as well as some snorkeling with the interesting marine life off Balikasag Island. After lunch, we figured we'd get an afternoon snack, and the crew obliged, as one of their boys went free diving for the freshest sea urchins we ever had. Just like the local sea urchins we had in Palawan the week before, these sea urchins tasted like milky perfume water. However, we negated that strange taste with our favorite hot sauce, Tabasco. And hitting the sea urchins with that Tabasco had them tasting like fresh oysters remarkably enough. If you want to check out our Bohol food trip thus far, click away on the Bohol food trip playlist on the far right hand corner. As for this video, we're doing the most popular thing viewers request of us, try more pizza. The contender here is Toto e Pepino, a pizzeria steps away from Alona Beach on Panglao Island, started up by two Italian expats, and serving up legit Neapolitan style pizza. So legit that legend has it the charcoal to fuel this interesting oven is from Mount Vesuvius half a world away. Cousin JP and I hot off of trying excellent pizza in El Nido, particularly our number one favorite in the Philippines, Bella Vita, just had to see if Toto in Pepino measures up as the best pizza in the Philippines. One publication I read during our stay in Bohol made such a declaration and naturally we just had to taste it for ourselves along with a fantastic anti-pasto platter to open up our meal. So, without further ado, here's our review of Toto e Pepino. Enjoy! So we are at a yeah. local place here in Panglao serving. I was reading up and are now, let me preface this and say, and the more exciting intro is, I read about this place that says they have the best pizza, not just in Panglao, not just in Visayas, but all the Philippines. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So Some you may words. have watched that. Okay, but we already have a pre-established best pizza in the Philippines. And where that place is is La Bella Vita, Bella Vita. at El Ni in El Nido. Oh Nido. my goodness. So El Nido also has in Palawan, everyone. Um, they have another place called Trattoria Altrove that we thought was good, but then it wasn't mind-blowingly good, yeah, like Bella Vita. Bad. So we have come to a place. Here on Panglao Island, that I think I read it on Cebu Pacific through website called Toto e Pepino. Eh, it's a very Italian name, eh? Between the two <laughs> yeah. brothers, huh? It's like Mario and Luigi. No, no, no. It is um, um, a real Italian play restaurant, um, and it's got like these two mobsters in front, like it looks like James Joyce and Humphrey Bogart put together. Yeah, um, on their sign. Yeah, on their sign. So, um, yeah. The two brothers, Italian brothers, I don't even think they're brothers, but they're two Italian partners that started up here from, I think, Napoli. So, of course, Napoli known for pizza. They have Napolitano style pies. Now, I read that this place, and this is what they call Four Seasons Pizza. Before I get distracted with introducing everything, they say that that oven over there, that oven over there, is using the coals from Mount Vesuvius itself. Maybe that's why it's a lot better. Maybe yeah. that's why it's the best in the Philippines. Now, so they say, right? And yeah. now, we're really going to try that. We're going to put that to the test, right? So one person gushed about it, and I read, they said that it was chewy, it has the perfect char on it, like good pizza should, Ooh. and that it's not sweet, and they don't like sweet pizza. So does, yeah. that sounds like me and JP. Yeah, that sounds like us, totally. Yeah, so on that same article. So here we go. We ordered ourselves an antipasto plate full of um, Italian cold cuts. There's uh, mortadella, there's um, salami, salami. Looks like it. Yes. Looks like some type of pepperoni. And some kind of bologna. Okay. Yeah. There's fresh made focaccia. There's some cheese. There's, I'm more interested in that blue gorgonzola. Yeah, that looks delicious. That little mound in there. Um, and then, this is the Four Seasons pizza that we got customized. It has mushroom, it's got olives. And then, yeah, two kinds of olives, black and green. And then we added some pepperoni to it, customized. Oh, and the other meat on there is pancetta. Imported pancetta from Italia. Hey. hey. Um, this is the truffle pizza here. So they use a truffle cream with mozzarella. 
and then that is the just sausage and mushroom Italian sausage and mushroom the specialty for simple today. stuff okay well let's where do we should we start first shall we go with pizza or we go to straight to the antipasto because they serve them like quite quickly every I day. know it's up to you um I want some of this I think first okay let's try it some of these are cold cuts, eh? <laughs> and some of these fresh baked uh, cuts. Uh oh. You're saying it in Italian. Now we don't have wine with this. We have drinks here instead. Yes. JT. Where's yours? They're still making my espresso they're, martini. No, still huh? okay, we'll wait for yeah. Me. Espresso martini. But JP had to teach him how to make a vodka martini because it's not offered on the menu. Yeah, it's not offered on the menu. Oh, wasn't that fun? So the good thing about traveling is that you can customize whatever you want. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. yeah. Especially when it comes to drinks. <laughs> Especially when it comes to drinks. Okay. I got me some of this, some cheese and some cold cuts. Yay. I'll eat this first. Yeah. Mm. Warm being who he is, he got roasted chicken because it's just said you already said spaghetti with mushroom and sausage. So like we got pizza anyway, like that. Mm. Let me try the fries. I'm gonna try the fries first. Mm. Why he is not jumped out of his seat, exclaiming, "Mamma mia!" I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a legit cold cut. Mm -hmm. that cheese? Mm. Oh, huzzah! It has arrived. Yeah, yeah, Espresso yeah, yeah. martini. So, I think we should toast. Let's toast. Yay. Chris? <laughs> Some of us didn't get alcoholic things yes. except us, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I don't really like martinis. But I like espresso and things, so it... it Gives me a little more of a forward, like a bitter and bittersweet forward drink. So I like it. Try this out, focaccia. Okay, so this focaccia, nice and light here, chewy, and then we gotta split the, split our blue cheese. Yes, I'm gonna put it in the pocket here. Ooh. Yeah, make it really luxurious. Stick it. <laughs> Stick it in there somewhere. Um, give me a second, guys. Um, of course, we're here in like post typhoon. We only like it's only been more than a month, so there's kind of some rationing with electricity here. So we were comfortable. We might not be a bit comfortable, but it it's okay. We make do. Okay, let's choose this uh, blue cheese in that focaccia. Mm. Oh yeah, hmm. strong. It's a strong blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, this might not be for you. But if you love the nuances of funky cheese, you'll like this, and especially on that focaccia. Hmm. Okay, I think it's the moment of truth, everyone. Pizza time. Are we gonna have the best pizza in our lives? <laughs> is this gonna be better than Bella Vita and El Nido? Uh oh. Uh oh. Moment of truth, moment of truth. What shall we break it off with? We will do it with this yeah. Four Seasons. Okay, I felt the same way because it's got pepperoni and all that good stuff. Sure. Oh, JP wants to do the honors, eh? Do the honors. Jack Pietro wants to do the honors. <laughs> What's Giacomo in, in Italian? I don't remember. Okay, Giacomo, Giacomo Pietro. Giacomo. <laughs> Instead of Jacques Pierre, Giacomo Pietro. Giacomo. Okay, so. We got a nice char here. Okay. I want to see. Ooh, look at this. Underneath. Char. That's the sign of a good pizza, everyone. When you let to see those. Char marks on the bottom, you know that's legit stuff. Yeah. Right? It's doughy. It's it's gonna be doughy, it's gonna be chewy, it's gonna be light Yum. still. Okay, let's um, try it without pepper flakes. Let's have it just there. Oh my god. Natural. Goodness. Ready? 
Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Hmm, so far. It's really good pizza. Um, you can see here, beautiful char there. Adds a little bit of like a roasty bitterness, just a teensy bit. Jives well with the dough. Um, I kind of feel like it's not as bready as I'd like it. You know how like there's like that fresh bread kind of taste? That's, um, I'm not really getting that here. I mean, it's, it's there, it's just like, I'm being nitpicky when I say not as bready. Um, and this one feels fairly light, fairly light. I wish I got a little more chew myself though, but the ingredients are good too. Um, nice bright tomato sauce, not, 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 not sweet, thank goodness. And of course I love black olives, and I love the black olives there, kind of gets a little more of, um, it also has some green olives that give it kind of a tart. Yeah, some tartness, tartness too. To it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's legit pizza. Um, I think you need to put you need to put some red chili flakes on there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm. Uh, unwrap that again. I'm gonna put some here because I think it's needs a little zing, a little something there. Mm. Okay, let's try it now. With, I'm gonna try it with uh, red chili flakes. Mm. Yeah. It kind of has this late roasty spice. Yeah. Comes on late. So it's good. It's really solid. I don't think we seem very wild. Um, I guess that doughiness that you were talking about mm -hmm. was in Bella Vita before. Yeah. And it was a smaller pizza. This one's a bigger one. Yeah. So maybe it's thinner. Mm, it's thinner. And I don't think it's that black char is kind of like distributed as much as I would have thought. I do like Bella Vita's, um, their, uh, dough. Mm hmm Something about Some, it. Something about it. Different. Yeah. So this one is really good pizza, by the way. I'm not knocking it. It's I'm just good, like, yeah, yeah, mm. it's good. But we have a lot to, like, uh, compare against, you know? <laughs> I'm so. just wondering about that one review that was saying best pizza. Wow. In the Philippines, and then we were like, I was like, we just so happened to find a world beating pizza. Yeah. So, I was really excited about this. It is, I mean, for Philippines to get this type of pizza is kind of special. Yeah. I would put this in that same category. But right, let's try the other two. Maybe, maybe we will be wowed like crazy. Yeah. Who knows? Let's try it. Mm hmm. And for me, I like the simplicity of truffle. That's all you need. Right. Yeah, you can see this all these flecks of okay. mushroom here. Chrissy. And you got these nice little cheese burns there and JP's gone ahead. Oh sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I got wowed by the electricity going back on. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hmm. Good. It reminds me of truffle cream cheese. Like truffle cream cheese spread. Like the same one we had at, um, what do you call it? Deli by Chelly? Uh -huh. That one time, that one night we tried it? Mm -hmm. This reminds me of that on pizza. Hmm. This one's really good too. Well, it's a simple combination of truffle, having all the umami, all the simple savory. Simple but tasty. Mm -hmm. Black and pepper. then, I mean that mozzarella, 
just so simple, mm -hmm. but it's all so good. I actually like this better than the ones with the most toppings. Yeah. Mm. I really like it. Surprisingly, no? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of unfair to compare because yeah. the truffle pizza at Bella Vita had arugula and prosciutto on it, which is as, as heavenly as one get. Pizza pairing never gets, right? Yeah. But Again, we've been spoiled rotten, people. Spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, this is like... Pizza you wouldn't expect to get in Bohol, but it's like yeah. definitely Delicious. in the category of awesome pizza we've had. <laughs> it's, yes. just, it's just been dwarfed. Uh, that's all, it's just been dwarfed. Okay, last but not least, we have good old fashioned Italian sausage and mushroom pizza. Good old fashioned Italian and mushroom. Italian sausage and mushroom pizza. We're more of an American. Pairing, but um, this is their daily special, so yeah, daily special. Your plate. Okay, just uh, one my plate there. Here it goes. Old fashioned mushroom. So, this is a daily special here. Mm, we gotta get a big, really big bite here because we need to get that mushroom in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. How's it? No, when you tell me Italian sausage, I expect something with like that's a little more anisey, more peppery. Mm hmm. Let me just get the sausage on its own. I think it's more like pork. Mm -hmm. But I wish it was a little bit, just a little teensy bit more fat. Because it kind of tastes more like um, sausage McMuffin meat. Yeah. Which to me is good. But... Which to me is good. It's just something I wouldn't expect. It's like tasting like um, a sausage McMuffin on pizza. But it's got a, like a lighter like pork flavor. Mm -hmm. And then more emphasis on the pepper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's alright. It's okay. Um, but again... This is probably one of the better pizzas we've had in the Philippines. Oh man, but, but it's kind of like in that category with like Trattoria Al Trove and El Nido. Yes. Like living on that same echelon, but it's just dwarfed by that Bella Vita pizza, which yeah, we it is. rave so much about. So in terms of toppings, in terms of dough, I think across the board, Bella Vita still knocks this one like like crazy. Ah. Yeah. Okay, we don't sound, we're, not, we're not agents of Bella Vita, we're just saying how awesome that pizza was. And we always remember. And then another reason why to go to El Nido again. It's not, it's not paid, we're not paid advertisers for that. No, no, no. No, uh, no you sure really gotta try that pizza. Hey, so I'm gotta try this pizza here too, it's Totoe Pepino. Here in Panglao Boho. I think we should get some um, tiramisu after this. Oh. See, we, see how it compares, oh. right? And they have mango panna cotta too. So, maybe two desserts, but let's all finish this together. Alright, back a bit. I need to digest. I need to smoke a cigarette to digest. JP can barely keep his eyes awake. Maybe he should drink some espresso martini. <laughs> Alright. Warren, of course, because he has no stomach, as you can see, has given me his roasted chicken. He loves chicken. But then, he gave me this. Bing. At least he knows that I don't like breast meat. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, he wanted to eat that. He's just being nice. Mm. No. <laughs> when is Warren ever nice? I don't think Warren's so. Warren's nice all the time. <laughs> Behind the scenes, he's not. He starts throwing <laughs> things like a gorilla. It's for a camera. It's for the camera. Yeah. Warren's <laughs> not a nice man person at all. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Try the chicken. <laughs> Tastes like Max's fried chicken. Huh? Is it roasted? Doesn't it seem like it's fried? It tastes like fried tuna. Right? It seems like fried. And the texture kind of looks like... What is this fried or roasted? We roast in the... Not in the oven. But is it fried or roasted? 
It's roasted with a fried skin. Yeah, but the skin so crispy, yeah? It's a good crisp. Mm -hmm. It's good. So take that for what it will. It kind of tastes like Max's fried chicken if you added some more salt. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's good though. Yeah, it's good. Dessert time is coming up. Dessert. Yeah, tiramisu. Yes, after this. <clears throat> okay, dessert round. Um, all the pieces have been cleared away because we're going to take them out. And then personally, I want something sweet. So we've got two things sweet. This is panacotta with fresh mango. And then this is a tiramisu. Pretty straightforward, nothing like um, out of the ordinary, but this is one of those things that you gotta knock them out of the park to be really memorable. So, this uses fresh mango, get that. Mm. Oh, this is good. Especially because it's using fresh sweet mangoes. And that cream's nice and tangy. A bit tangy. Tangy and sweet. Mm. Very refreshing dessert. Now then I'm gonna try this tiramisu which also looks very artful. Um this is a thing. Um try it with this spoon. Good bite from the very bottom and then pick it up. See if we can get some lady fingers in the bottom. Alright, there we go. Hmm, how should I say this? Does it feel like you get like that mascarpone like twang? Um, but of course, you get all the layers. I think it's more cakey. This term is just more cakey than... More cakey, a little less, it's more like a little bittersweet. But definitely more cakey. It's also good. But, for me, I like the panna cotta the best, with the fresh mango. Next time on our Bohol food trip, we're exploring a newly opened gem our driver tipped us towards. It's in the town of Dawis on Panglao Island and you wouldn't have known that this food park was here based on the drive to get here through some dirt roads through a pounding continuous rain. We're tasting some interesting food that met our fancy from Bohol style lechon and Korean shaved ice but there was one unique Cebuano specialty we just had to try. Tuslo Bua or pig brain fondue thickened with pork liver. This was our first time to try this humble yet trending fondue. What did we make of this all organic meat parts concoction at the end? The answers will shock you. All this and more when we explore the bustling Fort Bridge food park in Bohol. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and better yet subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures to come. Until the next time, keep cool but care and remember, the empire never ended.